Good morning, Kentucky, and welcome to this ABC 36 News Update. Here's what's making news now. Kentucky lawmakers could vote as early as tomorrow on a bill that would require people named in domestic violence orders to wear ankle monitors. The bill is called Amanda's Bill, in honor of 29-year-old Amanda Ross, who was gunned down outside her Lexington apartment four months ago. Amanda's mother was in Frankfurt last week, where she's pushing for the passage of Amanda's bill. It was proposed after her ex-fiancé, former state rep Steve Nunn, was charged with violating a domestic violence order in connection with Ross's death. We recognize that nothing we can do will bring back Amanda. We find Amanda's bill to be a common-sense approach to enhance the ability of other victims to find needed protections. What this would do would give the court an additional tool in those 15 percent or so cases, we believe, where these risk assessment factors are so great, the court would have the ability, the option, of requiring the uh, respondent, the person whose conduct's being restrained, to wear an ankle bracelet for the protection of the victim. A similar measure was implemented in 15 other states, and supporters say it has proven to be 100 percent effective in stopping domestic violence-related homicides. Well, in other news, firefighters say a discarded cigarette may be to blame in a fire that destroyed a Lexington apartment. It broke out a little after noon yesterday at an apartment complex off of Dinsmore Drive. Lexington firefighters say they're amazed the fire didn't spread to other apartments. The maintenance man started pounding on my door, telling me that the apartment building's on fire and we need to grab what I can and get my stuff out. So I came outside and looked and flames were shooting out the door. And the woman who lives in the apartment that caught on fire is now staying at a different apartment but in that same complex. Well, no serious injuries after a truck drives into a Lexington laundromat overnight. It happened at the Bubbles laundromat on Village Drive. Police say a driver lost control and slammed through the front windows of the business. Now, fortunately, no one inside was injured. The driver of that truck had some minor injuries, but is okay. Cable customers in Frankfurt could notice fewer channels as early as tomorrow. In an open letter to customers, the company says more than a dozen channels may disappear from the lineup. The general manager claims MTV is seeking fee increases, which would mean higher cable costs. The manager also says MTV will terminate the channels unless the Frankfurt Plant Board agrees to the higher fees by tomorrow. And thanks for joining us. Have a great day.